Hello and welcome to A Mindful Moment. I'm Justin Epstein, author of the top-selling book, Super You, and minister of the Unity Center of New York City. We're continuing our study of the classic book, The Power of Now, by Eckhart Tolle. And I'm going to pick up here on page 20. And it's, uh, it's starting to talk, he's starting to write about the, body, the emotion. Emotion, the body's reaction to your mind. So someone asked the question, what about emotions? I get caught up in my emotions more than I do in my mind. He says, mind, in the way I use the word, is not just thought. It includes your emotions as well as all unconscious, mental, emotional, reactive patterns. Emotions arise, emotion arises at the place where mind and body meet. It is the body's reaction to your mind, or you might say a reflection of your mind in the body. I like that. So the mind includes not just thoughts, but also emotions. And emotion is where you experience the thought in the body. I'm reminded of uh, an author many years ago uh, Melda Shanklin, she wrote a book called What Are You? This was many, many, many years ago, early 1900s. She said the, the body is the blossom of the mind. And so here he's saying this is where emotion arises at the place where the mind and the body meet. So he says, for example, an attack thought or a hostile thought will create a buildup of energy in the body that we call anger, right? We all know that. The body is getting ready to fight. The thought that you are being threatened physically or psychologically causes the body to contract. And this is the physical side of what we call fear. Right, you know? So we get triggered, uh, fight, flight, or freeze. And it's really how we think about what's happening, how we perceive it, triggers our response in the body. Um, If you saw a bear coming at you, what would you do? You'd either probably flight or freeze, right? You ain't going to fight the bear, I don't think, unless you've got a bear gun. But even then, well, anyway. That's what will happen. Now, what if the bear starts walking towards you and then all of a sudden you see it unzip and there's a man with a bear costume? And you're like, oh, it's just a man in a bear costume. Right? It's how we think about it. It's how we perceive it. Anyway, he says, research has shown that strong emotions even cause changes in the biochemistry of the body. These biochemical changes represent the physical or material aspect of the emotion. Of course, you're not usually conscious of all your thought patterns, and it is often only through watching your emotions that you can bring them into awareness. So our thoughts, where they meet the body, create emotion. And then those emotions have been shown to create physiological changes. That's why someone who hangs on to the same thought pattern that creates anger or bitterness or resentment, a person telling the same story over and over and over about what happened to them, could have been 20 years ago. By that chemical being produced in the body so frequently, it can contribute to sickness, to illness. So thought, uh, we have our mind is our thoughts and our emotions. And the emotions are where the mind meets the body. And it, the mind manifests as emotion in the body, which can then result in physiological changes. So in our next Mindful Moment, we're going to talk more about uh, this, this question. So I hope you'll join me again for the next Mindful Moment. Thank you for joining me for a Mindful Moment. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more mindful moments as they go live. 
Click above for a list of previous mindful moments to enjoy on your own time, anytime. Thank you.